Hello everyone. Welcome to Young Innovators Electronics class. In our previous sessions, we had learnt about diodes and their formation. On joining two diodes, it produces a three-layer, two-junction, three-terminal devices forming the basis of a transistor. Transistors are three-terminal active devices made from different semiconductor materials that can act as either an insulator or a conductor by the application of a small voltage. Voltage can be simply explained as a push for the electrons to flow. The transistor's ability to change between these two states enables it to have two basic functions of switching or amplification. There are two basic types of transistors construction, NPN and PNP, which basically describes the physical arrangement of the P-type and N-type semiconductor materials from which they are made. The transistor basic construction consists of two PN junctions producing three connecting terminals with each terminal being given a name to identify it. These three terminals are known as emitter, base, collector respectively. Emitter region emits the carrier into the base. The base region is also physically thin carriers can pass through with minimal recombination. The collector region has a larger width that the other two regions don't have since charge is accumulated here from the base. The construction and circuit symbols of both NPN and PNP transistors are as shown with the arrow mark in the circuit symbol always showing the direction of the current flow between the base terminal and its emitter terminal. As you see, in an NPN transistor, the arrow is pointing towards the emitter and in a PNP transistor, the arrow points away from the emitter. Now, let us look at how we can use a transistor as a switch. A transistor is used for switching operation for opening or closing of a circuit. Both NPN and PNP transistors can be used as switches. Let's go to Tinkercad workspace and build a circuit to see how a transistor works as a switch. The circuit diagram is as shown. We will take an NPN transistor, a 330 ohm resistor, a 1 kilo ohm resistor, an LED, a slide switch and a 9 volt battery. Let's connect the positive terminal of the battery to terminal 1 of the slide switch. The common terminal on the slide switch goes to the base terminal of the transistor through a 1 kilo ohm resistor. Emitter terminal goes to the battery negative and the positive end of the battery is given to the 330 ohm resistor. LED positive is given to the other end of the resistor. The cathode of the LED is given to the collector of the transistor. When the switch at the base terminal is open, no current flows through the base, so the transistor is in OFF state. Therefore, the circuit acts as an open circuit and the LED switches OFF. And when the switch is closed, Base current starts flowing through the transistor and then drives the current which results in the LED to turn on. Resistors are placed to limit the current through the base and the LED. If you all remember, we had used a photoresistor in our previous sessions. Now, let's look at another circuit where we use photoresistor for the circuit to work with a transistor. We will see how a photoresistor 
can act as a switch and work as both light and dark sensor in the circuit with a transistor. Here is the circuit diagram for the same. Hope you all know the same and try the circuit on your own. Let's go to the Tinkercad workspace and drag the components needed which are an NPN transistor, a bulb, a 9V battery, an LDR, a 10 kilo ohm resistor and a 1 kilo ohm resistor. Let's start the circuit connection snuff. Let's connect the positive end of the battery to the bulb and one end of the LDR. The other end of the bulb will go to the collector terminal of the transistor and the other end of the LDR goes to the base terminal of the transistor through a 1 kilo ohm resistor. The other end of the LDR is also given to the 10 kilo ohm resistor. And in turn the 10 kilo ohm resistor is given to the emitter of the transistor. The emitter of the transistor will be given to the negative end of the battery. This completes the circuit. Now let's start simulation and see how it works. The bulb will be switched on when the slider on the LDR is on the bright side and switched off when the slider is on the dark side. Now let us interchange the connection of the LDR and 10 kilo ohm resistor and check the output. The bulb will be switched on when the slider on the LDR is on the dark side and completely switched off when the slider is on the bright side. We used a resistor in series with the LDR to convert the change in resistance of the LDR to change in voltage. Hope all enjoyed watching the video. For queries, comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.